You guys are about to watch an epic match day experience between Crystal Palace and Manchester United. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If we could hit 200 likes on this video, that would be really, really good. Hope you enjoy the video. What is going on guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel. Today is Monday the 6th of March, I believe, 2018. And I am finally completing the Premier League today. Finally going to tick off Crystal Palace for the first time. They are home to Manchester United tonight, so big, big game. And yeah, the first time I've been there, so it'll be 20 out of 20 in the Premier League and 77 out of the 92. So well on track now to getting that done as soon as possible. For those of you that follow me on Twitter would have known I was due to be, or, and who watched my Brighton video last weekend, that I was due to be in Prague this weekend. But because of the snow, and I'll insert a little clip here if I can remember to do it, of how bad the snow was and it stopped me from getting to the airport. So I didn't actually make it to Prague, which I'm devastated about. So this is kind of making up for it. I wasn't expecting to be going tonight. This was only sorted yesterday. Um, when a, friend, a colleague of mine from work who isn't going has a season ticket, so I've managed to get his season ticket. So yeah, really looking forward to it now. It's, not, it's only 10 a.m., but I'm going to be going up there early, sort some parking out, and yeah, just having a bit of a chill day in London. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Come along with me, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Welcome to London. So we're now about seven o'clock. So heading into Selhurst Park now. Atmosphere's building, lots of police horses about. Monday night football on the on the box. Tonight is a massive game. Crystal Palace need to win to try and stay, keep their survival hopes alive. And Man United, Man United need to win because they're Man United and they want to get into the Champions League. So yeah, looking forward to this. Let's head into the ground. I realised how high this stand went from just watching it on the telly. Proper Premier League ground. Not too modern. My favourite. So in my seat in the Holmesdale stand, I think it's called, in the upper tier, cracking view, just a really decent Premier League ground. From the standard of Premier League ground nowadays, this one still kept its identity. I never quite realised though, in that stand over there, just how deep it goes. There's seats all the way back there. You can just about see some there. I mean, I've got no idea how, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to see anything to be fair. But they must be able to, so yeah. As I say, 20 out of 20 grounds in the Premier League, 77 out of the night too. And what a game to do it. Monday night football against Man United. Should be a good game this. What I should have also said is I've got no idea what the situation is going to be like with the camera tonight. I've already been pre-warned about filming at all um, after the, the first whistle goes. So I'll get as much done as I can, but not making any promises for the quality of the vlog today.
scream in the 90th minute. It's 3-2 to Man United. So guys, I hope you did enjoy that match day experience last night from Crystal Palace against Man United. It was one of the best games of the season, to be fair. For Crystal Palace to come away with that with nothing is nothing short of unbelievable. But when you're playing a club like Man United, you need to be on your game at all times, and they weren't for most of those goals. The third one, nothing you could do about it. Absolute scream from Vidic in the 91st minute. And some pretty decent limbs in that away end too. So... Man United up to second, Crystal Palace still in the relegation zone, so they've still got a lot of work to do. But on that basis, there's no way they should be going down if they play like that for the rest of this season. So, massive shout out to, I don't know who, what his second name is, but their striker, Alex something. I think he came from Norway or Denmark or somewhere. He was unbelievable last night. Absolute, absolute workhorse. Um, really, really impressed with him. Benteke was okay, but he was really, really good. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. If you can hit 200 likes on this video, that'd be great. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I will see you next weekend for a Welsh ground hop across Carmarthen Town, Cardiff Met, Uni uh, Cardiff Met Uni, and Taft's Wells. See you there. Bye bye.